Today is the day! We are about to pick up our new puppy. It is almost seven o'clock, so we're about to be out of the house. We are getting pretty pumped. Calm and assertive. <laughs> Gotta be calm and assertive. So get all the energy out now. So, so we're really excited. Um, we woke up, literally couldn't sleep last night. Um, I, I think I was up every single hour last night. I don't know about Amanda, were you up all night? I couldn't really sleep. <laughs> I went and slept in his bed today. <laughs> So we are headed out right now. Yep. We're taking a few things with us. What are we taking with us to pick up our puppy? Okay, so we have our little leash. There's like a baby leash adjustable, just really basic. Um, well, of course, it already has a little doggy name tag on it. Um, and then we just have a basic leash that we're gonna take with him as well. So collar, leash, and then, you know, a little puppy, a little waist bag, so you never know. And he also has his own towel. So we have towels. Um, downstairs we already have a crate. We'll show you guys the crate once we get in the car. Um, we have baby wipes down there. We're bringing paper towels because we have a three hour car ride. Three so hours. Um, we don't know how that's gonna go for our little puppy car ride. So we have paper towels and baby wipes downstairs. Have a little bit of food. Oh, we have a little treats in the car. Should and we have treats. In the fridge, not oh, in the car. Oh, treats in the fridge. Hey so Christine and I have the switch drivers because she wants to be the one that holds the dog when we are driving back. So anyway, we're listening to some uh, some pump up music before we go get Duncan. We are 18 minutes away. So you guys can just jam out with us. Nothing like Adele. Hello from me. Focus on the road, we'll be okay. This has been a three hour drive. We're entering Maryland! This is the third time we've made the trip. The first time we looked at the parents. The second time we went to pick out Duncan from a litter of eight males and three females. I'm shouting! Can you hear me? So we're trying. Hello! I'm in the library! So anyway, so we got Duncan. We're almost there. We are 16 minutes away now. We'll let you know when we get there. sleeping on the floor down here um, and not really in the hammock thing so this is pretty much where he's been he's just like chilling he's so calm right but we're about to pull in we're about to pull in Dunk's about to be home do you see him where is he this is Duncan he doesn't know his name yet <laughs> but we're excited we're like what should we do first so I don't know what we're gonna do first I think we're gonna go give him some food it's been like three hours. I'm hungry too, so. Yeah, we were collectively. Feed me a Duncan. <laughs> collectively, the three of us are gonna go get something to eat. Um, and then we'll have to go potty. Oh, wait, he did a successful potty oh, already. Oh, his first number two. So we stopped. Wait, did we stop? His two first or three number times? two was at McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we stopped like two times. He went to play one potty and he did number two. Amanda took care of that. Uh, what else? Anything else to talk about for the trip? He was pretty, it was pretty uh, uneventful. Sleepy pants. Yeah, when we first got him in the car, um, a lot of windy roads were worse, a lot of twists and turns. So he did have a little, little incident, a little, a little uh, spit up. So luckily we have a towel, we took care of that. And then we took a couple photos on a little scenic overlook or what do they call those? Scenic view, whatever. We did that and uh, went potty. He slept probably 
80% of the time, um, whether in my lap, on the floor in the back seat, or on the floor right here in front of me. So I think it's been pretty successful. We're literally about to pull in, and we will share more with you guys soon. to a park um, and walked around, did a really big walk, um, ran in the field, stuff like that. He's super, super energetic, but also really calm when we're in the car. So when we were in the car, he just like lays, tries to get cool, relaxes, sleeps. So that's really good. And so like right now, we've been upstairs. We probably came back up to the apartment um, maybe 20 or 30 minutes ago and he's been sleeping ever since. So um, he drank some water, went to bed. Uh, we rested for a little bit. Mom and dad rested too, right? <laughs> so mom and dad rested too, um, gave him a little rest, but we are about to get it back up, go outside, we're going to go for a big walk, we're going to go play some fetch or try to fetch, I don't know, we're going to see how that goes. So we're going to take some toys outside and uh, we will let you know how that goes. Right. So we made it outside, we are going for our evening walk. Can you see this? This is not the cutest thing in the entire world. Emmanuel is on his hoverboard and Duncan is just like chasing after it. It's so funny. This is a uh, dog walking convenience. <laughs> hey, Duncan. Oh, he might have to go potty. 